Watch the Vonsky Channel, you will. Learn many extraordinary things you shall, and see incredible world travels. The Force will be with you. <laughs> No i moi drodzy, właśnie odjechał mój uh, trok i dał łapać stopa do LA, bo jest naprawdę bardzo daleko stąd, gdzie jesteśmy teraz. Jesteśmy w Ontario. Ontario nie na Kanadzie, tylko Ontario w uh, Kalifornii. Więc witamy. Powiem wam, że ciężko z tym całym staffem. Ale patrzcie, już są palmy i jakie widoki. Ja mam tutaj śpiwór swój i inne rzeczy. Idę na truck stop, spróbować złapać coś do LA. Stąd do LA jest mniej więcej godzinę drogi. Będę raportował. Trzymajcie się. Tutaj w ogóle sprawdzają wszystkie samochody, które przejeżdżają. Już się ustawił właśnie czubaka i tędy w ogóle ludzie wchodzą. Hi buddy, how you doing? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You played the K2SO in Rogue One, right? Uh -huh. So pleasure to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesteśmy na premierze oficjalnej Gwiezdnych Wojen w Los Angeles. Za mną jest właśnie wejście dla, dla publiczności na, na czerwony dywan. W ogóle John Boyega nie dotarł na, na, na premierę, ponieważ na lotnisku w Atlancie, w Georgii, czyli po drugiej stronie Stanów Zjednoczonych w ogóle, e, śnieżyca. W związku z tym nie doleciał John Boyega. No i najsmutniejsza rzecz jest taka, rozmawiając tutaj z policjantem, że e, no, nie jest otwarte. Ludzie tutaj chodzą na zaproszenia e, Disneya. Ja niestety takiego nie mam. Byliśmy na Trumpie w Warszawie, ale już kurde na Gwiezdne Wojny. No niestety się nie wbijemy. Oh, Christian Bale, wow. Stanley. Stanley should hook up with her. They would be a power couple right there. Oh, that's really good. Wow. Are these at parties? No, yeah, you all of them at after parties. After parties. And then just start, continue to create and do shit, number one. You gotta yeah. always do that. Always so gotta do you gotta think like a producer, you gotta think like, um, you know, if you're the head of CBS film, or you're the head of like, a distributor, like, what kind of movies do people want to watch? John Boyega jednak doleciał, powiedział, że ma przecież najlepszego pilota w galaktyce. Remember, the force will be with you, always. So we are just in front of the Chinese theater in line, waiting for the Star Wars premiere. So what's your name? What's going on right now? My name is Sean Crosby, and I have been lining up for Star Wars movies since 1977, 40 years. Oh, so the first one, the, the New Hope, I suppose, it was 77, right? Right, and there wasn't a line like this where people were camping out, but there was a, there was a line around the block to get in because it was such a popular movie. And yeah. then for The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, people started camping in line like this. And in our case, this group, some of us have, have 40 years of this going on, some are new people, but oh, yeah. a group formed called LiningUp.net and in conjunction with the Starlight Children's Foundation, which is a charity that supports oh, yeah, I, I, kids I in one. hospitals, yeah. um, we're we're sort of making it a community thing and it's tradition now. Because now you buy tickets online, you don't have to have 
uh, a line to save your seat or anything. Yeah. You just get it online. Oh yeah, so so this is actually a funny thing because this is what changed over the years. Because right now you, there is like a pre-sale, so you can pre-order your ticket Select like way your seats. before uh, the premiere. Exactly. And back then you had to actually stay like for a few nights in line, like just like they have it with the, the new iPhones right now. I suppose. Right. right? Yes, it's a, that's a really good example because you want to be the first guy to get it and get the one that you sale, want with yeah. all the options. And Especially kind of here, because come on, we're in Hollywood right, right now. Right. Right. Okay. So. When people join the line, they decide how many spoilers they want or none at all. And so some of the badges, like the badge that's here in red, no spoilers at all. If you have a blue badge, that means you'll discuss things that they have released out to the world from the film company, but they don't want to hear theories or anything. Mm -hmm. And then the green one is everything. Tell me everything you've got. All your theories, oh, all the stuff. They want to see everything. Leaks and things like that. And so when you go to have a conversation with somebody, you have to look don't at the Don't talk to me. Yeah, and they tell you, don't. I don't want to hear anything. Yeah. Don't get near me. Yeah. Don't talk to me. Yeah, so it's, it's really very funny. I would funny. just put my airplugs and listen to exactly. music. And so just wait. La, 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 I do not hear Star Wars. I haven't, I haven't even seen the trailer. Yeah. Oh, really? I haven't Nothing. seen anything. Whoa, that's so hard I don't, to do. Isn't that crazy? I won't go to the toy section. I won't do anything. But you've seen this guy already. And you yeah, really don't, know, I don't know what he is. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Hey, what's that? I've been doing costume stuff for charity for a really long time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my, all of my friends' groups are kind of meeting in one spot. So people I know from one group are suddenly now part of this group. And it's kind of a great way to kind of foster community right before the movie opens. And some people I know got to go to the premiere and do the red carpet. I didn't get to go this year. I did the past two years. Oh yeah, which was amazing. so I was this year because I had the occasion to actually be in LA. You know, you're not always here, especially when you're in Europe. Right. And it's funny thing because in Europe, the the premiere. I mean, right here is December 15th. In Europe, it's 14th. I don't know why. It's the one day. I don't before. either. It's strange. It's strange because I, I thought like, oh, I'm gonna be in states. I'm gonna be the first one to see it like right away. You know, the first weekend and. All of a sudden, like my colleagues in Europe, they already have the tickets for the 14th. I'm just going to turn off my internet just not to see the spoilers. Right? And, well, and we all have been doing that because so, so I actually saw the movie yesterday at the Disney Studios. And okay. so I know everything about the movie, but okay. they don't want to know that. I don't so I have to be like either. really quiet yeah. about it, which yeah. is which is terrible. And so, so I, okay, wait up. So you actually seen the movie I did, a few yeah. days before the the official the, premiere, the world right? opening, right. Oh my. So I I didn't make the red carpet premiere, oh. but I saw it at the studio. That's great. Which, which was amazing. And this theater, this is where I saw it when I was a child, when I was 10 years old. Okay. And so being here is a very big deal. So my wife is coming. She yeah. and I are both going to see it here. She'll oh, see it yeah, for the Oh, yeah, because, you know, I'm from the younger generation, so the first Star Wars movie I've seen in cinema was uh, The Phantom Menace. Okay, in, in 1999. 1999. With my grandmother back in Warsaw, Poland, in my neighborhood. So right now, I'm going to see it in the United States, but not in Los Angeles, because I promised that I'm going to be back in Chicago and see it with my father. Okay. <laughs> because, right. you know, it's a it's father and son Well, but it's a family thing, thing. yeah. yeah. yeah and exactly. it's, it's important to share these things with your family. So when I saw uh, episode seven, The Force Awakens, yeah. my wife came out and she was in tears. She was crying. And I said, was it because of the events in the movie? Did they make you sad? And she says, no, I'm so excited that after being married with you for years that I understand Star Wars the way you do and if if that movie had been out when I was a 10 year old yeah. she would have loved Star Wars as much as I do right. and so she was excited about that right. and then Rogue One came out and yeah. I came out of Rogue One and I couldn't talk because I was just so choked up oh yeah especially especially the last scene with Darth yes. Vader I was so shocked like, and, and with Princess Leia you wouldn't expect that yeah and the, right. and the CGI I mean yeah obviously right but the, we the didn't expect to see her at all and no, the yeah. fact that it made me an, an almost 50 year old man feel like I did when I was 10 years old right. choked me up right. and so the sharing these things with your family uh, is really important and then you know you see the movie and you go discuss them and and you form opinions on mm -hmm. everything and and the fact that these movies are still as exciting and they're good they, the new movies that they're doing fit within the other movies mm -hmm. 
just makes me so happy that, yeah. that they're doing it. It's almost too much of a good thing. You have a Star Wars movie every single year. And so, so we're going to get this one. And then next May, aren't we supposed to get the Han Solo movie? That's only six months. Yeah. I can't be back here again in six months. I won't be ready for it. Oh, yeah. That's true. Okay, so I have a last question for you. Sure. Have you actually met anyone from the cast? I have met most of the members of the cast. All right, tell me about it. Okay, so Mark Hamill and I have done charity at... Um, children's hospitals. I have dressed like a Jedi Knight and done lightsaber training with him at the oh, children's yeah. hospital. Oh you, yeah, you, you look just like the uh, the older Luke Skywalker from the movie right now. Well, without the, the glasses trailer. and the hat. Yeah, without the glasses. Now I look obviously. like Steven Spielberg. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but if you if you go on the DVD for Episode Seven, mm -hmm. uh, there's a special feature called A Force for Change, mm -hmm. and I'm there with Mark Hamill doing lightsaber training okay. on the Star Wars DVD okay. with my friends in costume, which is terrific. The 501st Legion and the Rebel Legion. Harrison Ford we've done events with for the Jules Verne Adventure Film Festival which started in Paris, moved to Los Angeles and we spent uh, an evening with him and I've done other events with him. Carrie Fisher we used to help manage her line at Comic-Con for autographs oh, yeah. and I've done some Make-A-Wish charity events with her and she was super sweet. Um, just about everybody I've met at one time or another, David Prowse who played Darth Vader, yeah. uh, Kenny Baker who played R2-D2, Anthony mm -hmm. Daniels who was C-3PO. So actually you met the people that actually left their footprints over in that road exactly. over there. Exactly, and I was here that day. Oh really? Too, when they did, there was a when giant was it? When crowd. was it? The 80s? I it suppose? was no. It was uh, it was in 1977. Star 77? Wars was okay. still a big thing, oh. but it was it, so they the movie did it came right out away. in May, yeah, yeah, and then they did it in like August oh, of that right. year because that's Star right. Wars was so huge. Yeah. And in some movie theaters, it didn't leave for a year. There's a very famous poster that shows a birthday cake with action figures around it. And yeah. It says one year old today, and that poster was for movie theaters that didn't stop showing Star Wars for an entire year. That's amazing. And story. it was. It was the kind of thing we don't have now because we have video, we have streaming yeah. video services, we have internet, we can see anything anytime we want. But they used to release all these movies, like the very first blockbuster was Jaws, where people oh, were yeah. lined up around the block to go, yeah, go see it, shows, the sort yeah. of modern blockbuster was Jaws. Yeah. And then Star Wars did that again. Mm -hmm. And as I hear tell, there was a restaurant across the street, there's a, an American apparel and a Hooters there now, but it used to be something called Hamburger Hamlet and George Lucas and his wife were sitting there eating and they looked across the street and said, what is that commotion? Why are all those people there? And it turned out to be for Star Wars and George didn't even realize it. He just no, wasn't he concerned didn't know about how it. Big it is. Yeah, and it surprised even him. So amazing. it's pretty neat stuff. It's amazing to see it right here and meet the person like you who actually seen all the movies, been here, been around, met all those fantastic actors, people behind. Well, but but on that, like Star Wars is so interesting. It's it's taken over our lives in kind of a case. I mean, we wear yeah. lots of Star Wars stuff and, oh, right. and that kind of thing. And I drive a car that's a Star Wars spaceship car. And it has R2-D2 and Which laser guns. It's a Nissan 350Z. Yeah. And it has all of this cool stuff on it. And it looks like Obi-Wan Starfighter. Okay. And and I, when I talk to people in other countries, they're like, we can't do that. We wouldn't be allowed to do that to our car at all because we'd oh, yeah, get in trouble yeah, kind of, from, yeah. the, from the law. And I worked with the police and I made sure I didn't break any laws, but it's the car I drive every day. That's actually true and I know it for a fact in Europe. There is a strict law, you can't like have kind of special lights and yeah. stuff like that. I've, I saw crazy, crazy cars. I haven't seen the Star Wars cars though. I have laser guns mounted to the side, I have wings on the back, R2 is on legally, the trunk, and basically. it's all legal. Yeah. yeah. I just did an event with the Los Angeles Police Department, and they looked at the car and they're like, this is really cool, and there's nothing I can give you a ticket <laughs> on it for. Amazing. And when I get pulled over by the police to have them uh, take a um, picture with the car, I'm often dressed as Obi-Wan. So I can look at them and go, you don't need to see my identification. Yes, and if they yes, laugh, yes. I'm okay. And if they don't <laughs> laugh, I'm probably going to get a citation. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's great. How could you describe The Last Jedi? Like, how good was it? From bad to perfect? Okay. From 9 to 10? Uh, it, it's probably about a 9. It fits very, very well within the Star Wars canon. And for me personally, it's probably my third or fourth favorite. I haven't decided yet. Okay, but is it similar to The Empire Strikes Back? Because everybody was like, it's gonna be like that. It has a bit like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it, uh, it does not end on the happiest of notes.
Okay, so that's it. That's it. We're going we're gonna to finish on that, okay? okay. <laughs> Thank you. It yeah. was so a pleasure meeting well, you. Well, sure. Well, let me tell you. My name is Sean Crosby. Uh, S-H-A-W-N-C-R-O-S-B-Y is, is my name. Uh, my nickname is Obi Sean because I play okay. Obi-Wan yeah. Kenobi. Sure. And uh, if you if you need to find me, just, just let me know. Okay. You can do a search for Obi Sean. Yeah, we, we're going to put it in the description below. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, thank you. Oh, sure. My pleasure. It's really good to meet you. I hope your trip is amazing. Hi, I'm C-3PO, Human Cyborg Relations, you know. Tak jak widzicie tutaj, poza tym, że czekają na premierę Gwiezdnych Wojen już za chwilę, to przecież mają także takie quizy z odpowiedziami, z, z pytaniami z dotyczące filmów. E, mają jedzenie, taki fajny tutaj picking sobie zrobili. No i za mną teatr chiński, Chinese Theatre, gdzie tutaj właśnie odbędą się pierwsze pokazy e, filmu Gwiezdne Wojny. Więc no, taki na szybko vlog z Los Angeles, miasto gwiazd. Może jeszcze kogoś zobaczymy, mam nadzieję. I będzie całkiem fajnie, więc oglądajcie filmy bo będzie się... będzie ciekawie, zwiedzamy dalej Amerykę dla odmiany nie Nowy Jork, tylko teraz uh, Los Angeles a ja jestem tak zmęczony, bo prosto z troka nagrałem film o życiu trokera no i mówię wam <grywa> zobaczycie, oglądajcie wpadajcie też na grupę Elektora Dwąskiego na Instagram, Snapchat, bo tam na bieżąco pojawiają się wszystkie zdjęcia i filmy a tutaj no Hollywood y Los Angeles. Schmeiß.